You know, I talk to a lot of people about their social media and one of the things which they commonly say is, I have nothing that I can tell people. People will have no interest in the things that I say. I'm dull, I'm boring, I've got no ideas. And to be quite frank, that's a load of crap. And the reason that's a load of crap is because there's loads of things you can talk about. Content's a bit like, it's a bit like oxygen. It's absolutely everywhere. You can find it in the weirdest of places. You can find it in the simplest of places. And once you find it, it leads to the next bit, which leads to the next bit, which leads to the next bit. It's absolutely everywhere. So I'm gonna give you five content ideas which you can use on your social media. Simple stuff, simple stuff which will get people engaging with you and talking to you and help them to find out a little bit more about you and how you can help them in your business. Number one, how did you become a podiatrist, a foot health practitioner, a, a physiotherapist? How did you end up in your chosen field? Was it a random act? Was it something which was destined in the stars? Was it because you went for a visit somewhere and and, and had a really good experience with that professional and thought, you know what, that looks really pretty good. My first experience before I became a podiatrist was having a foot ulcer and a podiatrist saved my foot and that kind of led me along that path that when I did change direction a few years later, I thought, yeah, podiatry looks like a really good profession. But if you tell your story, it's amazing how many people will engage with it and will respond to it because it will resonate with people. You might think it's dull, but I tell you now it isn't. Number two, I want you to go and pick a patient that you've treated recently. Someone who had something really interesting. And I want you to talk about the problem that you treated, the problem that you solved. Because you'd be surprised how many people might have a problem in a similar way, but have no idea who to go to. And if you talk about how you helped that person, talked about the outcomes they got, talk about their satisfaction and what they could do afterwards, it's an amazingly powerful tool for helping people come and decide to book into your clinic. Number three, have a rant. What is it that you hate about the things that you do? What is it that you hate about certain conditions or certain advice or certain treatment? You know, do you hate the fact that people don't use cream for their feet? Or do you hate the fact that people don't do their exercises when they come to clinic and then wonder why they don't get better? Because it's really, it's really cool to be able to show people that you are a real person, that you are someone who cares massively about how how their patients get better and their outcomes and you're actually willing to stand up there and say this really really annoys me. Number four, pick a simple piece of advice that you give people on a daily basis. Is it a stretch? Is it a way of brushing their teeth? Is it a mnemonic they can follow to remember to do their rehabilitation? There'll be something which you take for granted which other people don't know about and you can share that. It will give great value and that will really help people to get better and remember you for giving them amazing advice. Number five, do a post which helps people know how to find your clinic, your place of work. Is there some weird bus route they have to follow? Is there a car park off the beaten path? Do they have to look for particular signs? Is it less accessible at certain times of the day? If, if it's dark, can they not see the signs? Anything which can help your patients and clients and customers find your clinic easily and save them stress and hassle is always a good thing. Now those are just five content ideas and they are the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more out there. But just play around, see what works for your, for your customer base and your client base. See what you enjoy sharing and see what you enjoy talking about. But as always, if you've got any questions or any comments, you want to know more, you can come and find me here.